video is starting. Don't forget to click subscribe. Ding. Welcome back to the channel! At our age, it's so important to smell good, especially it boosts out our mood and increases our attractiveness. I've always been curious how perfume are made, and lucky for me, I got invited by Santofia for a perfume making experience. Some great prizes coming up at the end of the video, so do watch till the end! This is what we call our scent library. Okay. And scent library, you can pull out and read about anything that you want. Okay. So this is A to Z, any ingredient that you may be interested in. Okay. And in case people are interested to see how it smells, mm. say lime for example is in men 3, okay. citrus, and you can try it there as well. Okay. okay. Same ingredients are used inside to make your own signature scent. Okay. So scent library has all A to Z, but our speciality still remains Sentosa's plants. Okay. So as you can tell, these are Sentosa's special plants. Sir Raffles collection, all the alien plants that Sir Raffles introduced to okay. Singapore. So how many scents do you have? We have, uh, at one point of time, we give customers 120 selection. So now here this one. Yeah, this one is 176, okay. but we have a lot more, <laughs> just in case somebody wants. Okay, anyway, we are, this is the founder of uh, Centopia. Okay. <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> that particular wall is provided by our sister business, Singapore Memories. Okay. Singapore Memories bought an old and iconic perfume company mm. which used to exist in 1960s. Oh, okay. And we bought over brands like Singapore Girls, Reeves the Singapore, so on and so forth mm. from them. We created our own brand, but it's very, very popular as souvenirs. Uh, these, these are tourist Singapore memories. And the last walk over here, this is where we conduct seven tours a day. Okay. The tours will be uh, wellness related, sense of smell related, <laughs> Singapore flora, Singapore fauna and so on and so forth. This wall and particularly scent library, they are very popular amongst children because mm. every single exhibit that you see is augmented reality enabled. Okay. Augmented reality, we have about 300 plus augmented reality hidden here. Okay. So the kids just have to discover them. For example, all you have to do is just scan a QR code. Mm. This will open in Facebook Metaverse. Okay. When you point to something, it will start an animation. And in this mm. case... Uh, so nice. Yes. So through our exhibit, through our artwork, through our stories, we tell people how important sense of smell is why one should focus on sense of smell, how it keeps us safe. Okay. So we bring our attention to this, Raffles Asia. This mm. is Raffles Asia. Okay. Most people don't know that this is named after Sir Raffles. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think I will learn a lot today. Yeah, yeah, so this is what we do. We run lots and lots of educational programs, mm. but fun educational, ed edutainment I would say. Uh, mid 30s, uh, what do you recommend like for working adults? Uh, any particular that you want to show? So different areas appeal mm. to different things. Working adults typically like the perfume making section, which is the ticketed area on stage. Mm. Okay. And teenagers typically likes the pun. For example, let me show you. Yeah. You try to make everything very funny. It's my time to shine. Mm. Yeah. So every single uh, text that you see. Mm. All of those, some 200, 300 things. Our, our designers worked three years to come up with all those puns. Oh, so those are, yeah, three years. So you took three years to set up as well? Oh yeah, long time. We opened to public on 15 March. 15 March. Oh. Yeah, so you're one of the first few people we invited. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> so, what is so unique for us? We will give them a perfume personality quiz that is 10 questions. So you have to answer it, then later on I'll briefly explain your personality. Okay. Yes. So I'll briefly explain what each personality means. Okay. So Sertra's personality, they are like just very happy-go-lucky, they're very bubbly people. Mm. They're just very, very cheerful. You ask them, yeah, they're like, that's not you. <laughs> yeah, actually I would have guessed you would be floral actually. Uh, but they're just, they're just outgoing personality. Uh, you talk to them, they say, oh hi, they're uh, just really bubbly, make friends easily. Uh, Fresh, they are also extrovert. 
But like instead of like citrus, the difference is citrus, if you give them a ball, they'll just kick mm. it around, they play with themselves. First you give them a ball, they turn it into a soccer game. Okay. So at this phase of life, it's more about teamwork than anything else. They oh. don't like to be alone, they like to go out in groups. Okay. So most Singaporeans are actually very high on fresh. Okay. Then after that, we have floral, which I actually guess your personality to be. Oh. <laughs> I explain why. So florals, they are a little bit more introvert as compared to oh. like citrus fresh. Right. They care only about a few people in their lives. And they are very kind, caring, sensitive people. Mm, okay. So they value their me time a lot. They always need some time to recharge. Oh, correct. So florals sometimes can be a bit sensitive. Words mm. can hurt them easily. Oh, okay. If you look at them and you say, Oh, I think maybe your outfit looks a little oh. bit weird today. Which you don't, by the way. You look beautiful. <laughs> Love the outfit. I know why it's more so. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And florals, I would say, I think your floral is because they are always very put together. Mm. It can be a very simple outfit or not. But you can see that they put effort in their makeup. Like mm. even your mask, everything, you can tell in the details that they are floral. Mm. So that's why I would, was surprised to see a pine Udi. <laughs> yeah. But okay, let me Udi, explain Udi personality then. So Udi people, they are, the key defining word for them are responsible. Mm. They always try to be punctual on time anywhere they go. Okay? Mm. And they're also very organized, they're very structured, very serious, hardworking people. You give them a job, a task, they make sure they get it done for you no matter what. Mm. Okay. Last personality is the oriental. Mm. Oriental people can be a bit more stubborn, strong-headed. They're okay. also very assertive people. They're very confident. They will just speak their mind, they do whatever they want. They mm. don't really care what other people would think about them at all. So usually with the right mindset, right goals, they can end up being the CEOs of the world. Mm. Okay. Okay, so that's the five personality. There seem to be 12 different ones, right? Yeah. So they're all different. So you see here, so like there's the one, there's two, all the way until number 12. Mm. Okay. And all this is also the name of the perfume. Mm. That, we, that we mix inside. Mm -hmm. So one of this one, right, it's not like a singular ingredient, meaning it's not like pear, lime, mm. lemon separately. It already has a blend inside. And the blend mm. is made of native orchids of Singapore mm. with a few other ingredients, of course. Okay, so what you do is you take the sand wand, you smell it. Mm. If you like it, then you can straight away put it into your basket. Because your high udi doesn't necessarily mean you must make an udi perfume. Okay. We allow you to play around, it's really up to you. Mm. So as long as in total, you just pick 10 sand wands. And it can come from any category, be it the men's side, the lady's side, as long as it's 10 sand wands. Mm. Okay? okay. okay. Motion sensor. Okay. So for example, if I pick one of the bottle, right, you are choosing women's citrus one. Mm. So citrus one is right here. So if you see, I'll just put the cup in. Okay. Then it spritz in. You mm. saw that, right? And then I take it out. Okay. So the first smell is inside. Mm. Then I will go through looking the rest of the citrus. So okay. the next one is this is citrus number ten, right? Mm. So citrus number ten is right here. Okay. Now just go in. And then once it's done, I take out. Okay. So okay. you do the same for all the ones. solvent inside mm. there is no smell to it now i call it the blank perfume okay so later on i'll be pumping all the fragrance oil inside and that's how it becomes a perfume okay, okay? My review of it is that I gain a lot of knowledge on perfume and the staff are so knowledgeable. I recommend y'all to experience it yourself. Before I end this video, I got some good news from my viewers. I'll be giving away two complimentary perfume making workshops to two of my viewers and you can bring one partner or one friend along. And also by using a discount code below, you will get 50% off for all perfume making workshops. Okay, that's the end of the video. Don't forget to share the video and subscribe. Bye!